What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today is an exciting video. Had a lot of requests to do this. Do an updated version. We're doing it with Matthews this time. And we have today the Matthews V3 27 inch versus Matthews TRX 36. This 36 is set up for my 3D setup. Um, and this is set up for hunting. This is the same exact setup. Minus the scope, I have the all new Ultra 3 on. I had the Ultra 2 on last time. But same exact setup I hunted with this fall. I shot my Kansas buck and some other deer with. So this is legit how I would be hunting and this is legit how I would be shooting 3D tournaments. So what we have is we have a target at 55 yards, which is going to be world archery scoring. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna shoot a match. It's gonna be 15 arrows per bow add up the total score whatever bow has the highest score wins and right off the bat this is not a technical video we are purely seeing how well i can shoot one bow versus the other right now in this match if we shot another match you know like right after this it might be different it's all dependent on human error everything so this is not totally like technical like if we had in a hooter shooter and a machine and shot it That'd be a different story. But I am a human, not a machine. But anyways, we're gonna shoot one end of practice, make sure I'm sighted in, get right into it. The first difficulty for me for doing this is actually going back and forth between the bow. Oh, and I forgot, we're in a, we're in a, like a barn, a garage shooting, cause it's raining. Um, but actually that works because um, there's no wind. Wind isn't a factor other than the arrows and there's barely any wind today. So it's not gonna be much of an issue. Um, and I'm shooting in a rain jacket. But for arrows, I am shooting Easton Superdrive 19, so a little bit thicker than a hunting shaft, a little lighter than a hunting shaft, um, set up for 3D, like I said. So 55 yards, let's give it a go. First three practice arrows. And we're gonna be shooting at the left target. Do you hear those hit, hit each other? Those are both tens. Two. I think those are three tens. This bow is shooting really, really good right now. So it's gonna be tough to beat. It's gonna be tough to beat it, but we have the 27, 27 axle axle, super small bow, perfect for whitetail hunting out of tree stands and whatnot. Not so good for long range target shooting. And I guess some specs. This bow is 75 pounds. My TRX target, or yeah, 3D setup is 58, 59. So quite a difference going back and forth shooting wise. Whew, that was a little windy. Did you hear how loud that hit? That did hit loud. It's just the arrows. Not 100% sure where those are hitting. Well, not sure where those hit. We'll go see them. I should grab my binoculars. Oh, I had a pass through. That's not good. Look at this. Getting pass throughs on it. It's not good at all. So my group is way left on my hunting bow, and or way right, and a little right on this. So that's why we take a practice. That's a tight group. We're just gonna. Give it a couple clicks. We might even shimmy this target over a little bit. And uh, next round's for score. Give our right click. I'm gonna grab my range finder too. So we can check and see what they are. So we're actually going to flip flop what we were just shooting. Hunting bow is gonna be on the left. Target bow is gonna be on the right. Cause hunting bow is like blowing through it and it's a better part of the target that that target's on. And also what I did in the other videos, we did every other. So I'm gonna start with the hunting bow this time and we'll start with the target bow next time. First end for score. See if we can't get the hunting bow close to the target bow. We'll see, there's always surprises. I could jank one, one or the other. Choo! We might have to call another practice round. That was not right. I just gave it a bunch of clicks. It would be unfair if we weren't sighted in, so hold on. 
Let me shoot these two, see where they're at. That's better. Okay, that was a 10. We're just way right. I just threw the scope on, so it makes sense it's not on 100%. Okay, two tens in the right side. This is sighted in now. And it'd be unfair if we didn't give the TRX another practice round. So let's do one more practice round, then we'll go pull them. Dude, I know one problem is it's just gonna be fatigue. So I'm shooting 75 pounds and then flipping over to this guy. Whew. I'm already shaking. Not a terrible group. So let's go down, pull them. Next ones. Four score. Target bow is up first. For this time. Target bow right side. Ooh, that might have been an X. I don't know about that. That felt good. That was low. <laughs> I had a dip bang on that one. Oh, buddy. That might be an A. <laughs> Here I am, all cocky, being like, ooh, target bow is going to dominate. But, oh, that might be a busted knock. That was good. All right, so we're looking, we're looking at a score of 28, I think, potentially down there. It's all right. Definitely shanked one, though. Was right. Oh, right eight. That's the thing. I think it bounced. I think I hit my sleeve. I have my arm guard on right now. I felt it like kick off to the right. That's the thing with a little bow like this is every little thing you do wrong amplifies it greatly, especially at longer distances. There we go. Ten. <clears throat> Still right though. I think I wasn't 100% dialed. Yeah, another 10. I think it's a tied score right now, 28-28, but we'll go down there, check them out. Well, we have 10-10-8 for the hunting bow and XX-8 for the target bow. This is shooting a 28 the hard way. I could have just shot 10 and two nines, but we had to shoot an eight. And on both of these, I knew that they were gonna be bad. And did I? Might have broke a knock on this one. No, I didn't break a knock, but these slapped together, so those are two good shots. But anyways, tied score right now. We have 28 to 28. So we're back at ground zero. No one's gained a point on anyone. So let's shoot another and see how we do. So now we have to shoot the hunting bow first because we're alternating. Got to be fair. Got to have pretty level playing fields. Looks good. Look good. Still be hanging on right. Dude, the hunting bow might whoop the target bow's butt. That'd be funny. It's very possible. Ooh. Oh, buddy. We got our first 30. <laughs> With the 27 at 55 yards. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, it's so weird going from 75 pounds to 58. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Felt good. Ooh, a little hot maybe. That's the thing. This, so this has a six power lens in it, so I can see everything. So I just said it's a little high, but I think it's still 10. This bow, the hunting bow, has nothing. So the pin's just like floating around and you shoot and you just hope it goes in. Which, you know, you know you're still in the middle. 
but when you have magnification, you're like middle, 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 and you can see every little thing. Ooh. Can I say that every time? <laughs> Here, watch out. I think that one was out, actually. I was, you know what I was thinking to myself? I was like, oh, man, that'd be so sick to shoot a 60. Yeah, it's a 9. <laughs> so that'd be so sick to shoot a 60, and then you shoot a 9. You can never do that to yourself. You can never jinx yourself. You can never be like, oh, it's going to be so sick when I shoot this buck standing in the food pot right now. Going to miss him every time. Every time. All right. So we got a close one, but it is a nine. So we have 10, 10, 9 for V327, 10, 10, 9 for TRX36. Tied score once again. The hunting bow, all shots felt good. Target bow, this one in the bottom. I knew that was going to be bad, but still not bad. So we're tied score right now. Still, and number two, three more to go. We shoot five total. World archery scoring. It's just the easiest, quickest way and most regulatory, regulated way to do it. Something like that. Long hold, but it was an X. Such a bad habit of mine. Holding too long. Good. Should be a 30. Actually, that last one might have been a little left. It's close to a 30. All right, now hunting bow. Look at these, I definitely smacked my arm a little bit. Yeah, all right. Oh, I might have been a little right still. I don't know why I'm favoring the right side with this bow. Not terrible shots, it just goes all right. I might have went a little left. What the heck? It's a 10, though. Left 10. All right, let's go score them. And number three. Got close. All right. Not bad. This is a really good group. X109, the TRX hunting rig. Target rig. Gosh, I bet I'm confusing so many people. For the hunting rig, we have 1099. So we gain one point for the target bow. So we finally have a division here. And still not bad groups all the way around. And other than these hitting right, the bows are doing really good. So we got two more to go, and uh, uh, holy cow. This is end number four. It's tight, hunting bow, hunting bow's gotta, gotta pull his weight here. That was good. Long hold. It's a nine. It's close. Money, dude, I got a tight group down there. It's about like that. Just a little right. Still, still a little right. Check out that new finish too. We did a little slightly different finish on the releases and shooting a four finger. Mixing it up. Money. Ooh, slapping down there. Stuff's feeling really good. Both bows are, both bows are rocking. They've been rocking for a little while now. And that's a, that's a good feeling when a bow is just set up, ready to go. Oh, 
Oh, my been a little low. Yeah, real low. Don't know what happened there. Really. Oh, I thought, I thought this was different. All right, target bow. We have ten, nine, nine. I thought that one was ten, and we have X ten nine. So we're back even, back even with one more to go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whew, why does this always happen? And look at this. This group is about like that, about like a golf ball, eh, nearly a golf ball size group. And this is a way bigger group on the target bow. So it's amazing, but people think that they need to shoot tournaments, they need to do this, they need to have that, they need to do that, but the most important thing is always yourself, but in all seriousness, Really, in anything you do, they always say, like, knowledge is king, form is king, no matter how many fancy things you have, no matter anything, you have to work on yourself, and that's no different than archery. So, got both bows, and I'm doing a little bit better with my, with my hunting bow. Not even set up for target, so, super interesting. Final, final, final round. We're tied up. So, this is, this is for all the marbles right here. And if we tie, 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 tie at the end, we'll do a one-arrow shoot-off close to center. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Or hopefully it does. Hopefully I shoot 60 right here. All right, target ball first. Nice. Another good shot. See me shaking? Did you see me shaking? No, I wasn't. I'm tired already. Shooting 75 pounds like that is freaking like bleh. Okay, I think I got one nine. Maybe two nines. I thought that one was good, but it was low. I'm kind of sitting. So this is my 3D setup, and I have a center drilled fiber, and this definitely would not be my setup if I was shooting like archery targets like this. I, I'd want something different. Because that fiber, that green fiber, just disappears in that yellow. It's not an excuse, it's just not ideal. Oh, you know what would be a good video? What? Is a uh, hunting versus target bow 3D edition. That would be good. If you think that, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe. We were looking at analytics the other day, and like 50 to 60% of you that are watching, that are watching right now, aren't even subscribed. So if you like the content and stuff, make sure to subscribe. We're posting a ton now, now that Mitch is like rocking and rolling. So uh, make sure to subscribe, don't forget. Ooh. Dude, that's not an inside out X, I don't know what it is. Ooh. Money. Oh, buddy. If I shoot a 10 on this arrow, the hunting bow wins. Ooh. No pressure. Is that right? Yeah. Target was down by two? No, we were tied up. We were tied up last end, and now we have, this is either one down or two down oh, for target bow. Oh, I forgot you already shot the target bow. Yeah, I really wanted the hunting bow to win. I'm not being biased here, I'm trying my best all the way around. But no pressure. No pressure. Long hold. I'm not even gonna look. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna look. It looked good. Maybe a little right. And don't show them when we edit this. This is gonna be a surprise. Oh, dude. Look how close that one is. So here we go. Target bow, X99, nine, nine. hunting bow, XX10. For once, and we've only done this once before, so it's not a total shock, but for once, the hunting bow actually beat the target bow, which is crazy. Definitely would have not have thought that, especially with the 27, such a short bow. But that is what it is. I don't even know what, what I dropped. One last time? I don't remember. Two. Three, four. I think the hunting bow only dropped four, five. Anyways, we'll pop it up on the screen. Really good for both. It wasn't terrible out of the target bow at all. It was shooting really good. 
optic bow. I don't know. I just found a groove and uh, it worked really good. I don't know. Super surprising. And so with this said, why I kind of wanted to do this is don't overlook the smaller bows, especially if you're only a whitetail hunter. People think, oh, a smaller bow, I'm not going to be able to shoot as good. It's not as long riser and everything. But if your draw length is like 29 and a half and under, really consider a smaller bow. You're still going to be able to shoot it very, very good. And that's any brand, just smaller bows in general. Um, I love my Matthews 27 and I absolutely will be running that bow or a small bow in a tree stand forever now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And the hunting bow one, what a surprise, what a change of pace. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out bworldmerch.com. Catch you guys next time.